right, coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. Well, this dude is a submission magician. I am very thankful I am not fighting him here tonight, and it's really a case of pick your poison. He has so many different chokes in his arsenal and has been a master of getting these fights exactly where he wants them. There are black belts and there are guys like this who can do jujitsu at a level that not many people, regardless of the time spent, can truly get to. His understanding of position is truly unbelievable. He always has the frame. The moment you start to press into him, he's always underhooking, always looking for the next escape route, but not to get back to his feet. Right. He wants to go from bottom to top. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom. Right. But his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half block. Yeah, his striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup tonight. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished rear without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Modesto, California, Bo Crusher. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 154 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, let's say, Assassin! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room? Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch gloves. out of water now the ground and pound is on point this could very well be the beginning of the end this could be the beginning of the end we've seen some really good ground and pound fighters this young man received. oh he's got the ground and pound going now
gearing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Under three minutes remain in round one. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's got arm bar now. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And this might just be a matter of time. to watch. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Great punch. Single collar tie now. Immediately gets the underhook. And that he comes knee. through with a big that knee. knee hurt him. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Loaded up with it right in, too. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here, and they separate. Oh, he's got his back. Big lift coming. It's time to take him for a ride. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and so flat over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood on his leg kick. And they separate. 30 seconds to go. Together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Great punch landing with so much power. Five minutes in the books. Take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready to fight? You ready? Round yeah. two here. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Left hand punch with the clinch. Oh, big knee! Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off with. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they set him. That right hand hurt him a little bit. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. So what do they 
say it and try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that knock. The guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Watch triangle, watch triangle. into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine to try to get to your knees. You throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submission. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Nice punch, man. To mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, nice knee to the body, very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Switching stances here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. He's back in the push position. This is where he has done a ton of good work. Oh, he gets the takedown. That could be big. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. the ground and pound strike here. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. You gotta be careful, armbar. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Submission defense there. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestling stand-up. Get to your knees, post your hand, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hook. But get to your hand, stand up, again, break away and escape. But it's so much more free flowing than a half guard in the side control. Because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use your eyes. Oh, he does it again, takes this fight right back to the ground one more time. This is exactly what he told us on Thursday, the game plan he's executing to perfection. And he's doing it exactly as he said he hoped it would go. He's getting to the legs, getting fantastic angles and just wrestling beautifully. The takedowns are amazing, but it's the ground strikes that he's landing once he's getting there that is truly a sight to behold. All right, so perhaps a little frustration creeping in as our next round gets Ready. underway. Very close to submitting his opponent in the previous round, but was unable to do so. Wasn't able to do it, but he was so, so very close. He's trying to put himself back in that position, and maybe this time he gets the finish he wants so bad. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Ooh. And the 
they separate. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though, they say. Big punch lands to the middle. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. A single collar tie. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Big kick lands. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Ooh, what a nice ankle kick to get him down to see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle kick. Let's see how he advances from this position. He gets right back up. I mean, what an ankle kick. If he would have rolled into his opponent, maybe he would have secured the top. Body shot after body shot. He keeps landing these strikes, really zapping the gas tank of his opponent. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. That right hand landed. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's gonna be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? Punch over the top. Back and forth we go. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. All right, watch out for the setup here. DC, I know you don't pay your bets, but I'll bet you 100 bucks he goes for another takedown here. <laughs> if I don't pay, then why are you betting me? I'll yell in the octagon and go, man, don't shoot so that I can get paid. But if I'm bet, I'm trying to take you over. I believe that he's going to get another takedown, so I would try to force you into saying that he does do it again or something. Right, I don't see. know. We'll see. I'm not the gambling guy. You're the gambling guy. You can twist me up with your words. Take him down. Oh, big punch land. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. I mean, that right hand landed square. Ball left hook to the head. It's blocked. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Real sneaky body. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by the opponent defending the takedown, but now he is going to have to pick it. Take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. 
Well, he goes to the uppercut, but it's not there. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Big kick lands. How about that shin? Nice leg kick. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. That one snuck in. Nice and right. Right single dollar tie now. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, big knee! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Double leg, good takedown. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to four opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, nice combination of strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent, not unlike Muhammad Ali over Sonny Liston. Oh, that is a good reference. If you're standing and your opponent's on the ground, you're doing really good work. Under three minutes now to go in the round. You take more of these leg kicks. You not look like it did start him a little bit. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Oh, single collar tie here. All right, boy, Ty Clinch, a lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Look at the turnover in that kick. So some nice deception there. Pretty good lead left hand. I mean, from the southpaw position, instead of throwing it. That is how you scramble, folks. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice loop and punch. There's no give on that leg kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Separate. Nice one, two there. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo, no, right? No three piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come with me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Under one minute now to go in round four. Trying to go for the single leg takedown. Doesn't get it. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough. Anytime you're chest to chest, you have nowhere to go. I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Nice. And they set. Beautiful knee to the body. Ryan Mayer again we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, maybe the head. Oh, bone on bone shot.
chin slash foot right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those are fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head a lot of times through the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. A little bit. It's horrible. All right, so there's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights, DC, and there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment. He found the opening and landed that big strike. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fifth and final round for the cover. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. There's no tell on that leg kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Straight punch lands. You got to check these low leg kicks. All right, what do you think? Another takedown attempt here. It seems like every time he's gone to the well, it's been there tonight. When you're that successful with any one thing, why would you change it? He's going to shoot for another takedown, and I would almost be willing to bet he's going to secure. I'll take your action. Okay. Big kick. Back and forth we go here. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there. And I get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent, his ability to see the shots coming, defend them, and make the fight happen where he wants it to. Big punch from the clinch. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. Man. And every one of them, he's overwhelming him with different attacks. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Big elbow there, Lance. Big oh. knee lands there. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Nice strike. Nice job of hiding that head kick. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that land perfect, and that one landed perfect. Left hand punch with the clinch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Just missed on that spinning attack. Single collar tie now. Nice defense there, huge block. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. you got to just start letting everything fly. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Real nice body kick lands. Right hand. Beautiful leg kick throw. All right, he engages in a single car. Oh, He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Way to hide that leg kick. Trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Big left hook coming in. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Trying to stay in this fight. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch out. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. Nice job at least staying upright on that. Beautiful punch. 
Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. All right, he closed oh. up. He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. What a fight! Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bo Trasher. Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted a finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control, and that's fight to the best of your ability. He did exactly that tonight.